Hi everybody and welcome back to another Alchemy 365 workout. If you're loving this content, would you ever consider heading to shop.alchemy365.com to pledge your support with a virtual drop-in? We've got options from five to 10 to $20. It's certainly not mandatory. We're gonna to continue to provide this content for free, but it would go a long way to support our small business during this COVID-19 crisis. Thank you so much. Have a great workout. Hi guys, welcome to our A20. Uh, my name is Brock. Hi, I'm Kyle. All right, we are uh, coaches. I am at the North Loop location. Kyle works at our Edina location. Um, welcome in. If you have never done an A20, welcome. We have a 50 minute class. It is gonna be warming up with yoga, and then we're gonna get into the actual workout. I'll explain that in a second. Uh, then we get a little bit of cool down with some yoga at the end of class. Um, today, uh, the workout is right behind me. Um, four rounds, four rounds. You're doing one minute of work. Uh, so the way the clock is gonna be set up for this workout is gonna be just beep every minute, okay? For our first minute, we're gonna start off with snatches. Those snatches are gonna be alternating arms. So you're just gonna be alternating each time for one minute straight, all right? Then we go for push press, push press. One torpedo, uh, one piece of weight, whatever you have at home. It's gonna be both arms on today. Uh, we have front squats then. Front squats, you're just getting that uh, weight up in the front rack position, going for a minute straight. These are big movements to do for an entire minute. Um, Kyle's gonna use an 85 pound torpedo um, and you'll see how tired you get. Um, so just think about your weight today. Um, if you do wanna uh, get through a full minute uh, without setting it down, maybe that weight is a little less. If you wanna challenge yourself with heavier stuff and just have a little rest in those minutes, you can. All right, swings are gonna be next for one minute. And then we have sit-ups. The sit-ups are gonna be an active recovery, okay? Uh, so think of them that way. Think, think of them as a chance to catch your breath, let your arms and legs relax a little bit. Um, and then we'll move back to the top of the list and go down three more times, sorry. Um, cool, uh, let's talk about these movements now really quick. Kyle's gonna grab this torpedo. We're gonna start off with snatches. This is what your snatch will look like. There you go. A lot lighter than you thought it was going to be, <laughs> yeah. wasn't it? All right, um, here we go. As he sets up, I'm going to have Kyle just turn towards Mia here. Great. All right, as he sets up, he has an arm on. He has a long arm. He's not doing any pulling right now. He's flat back. Hamstrings are loaded. As he stands, he's going to pull that weight right up his body, and then he's going to come right up, elbow high, and go straight overhead. Okay, so he just broke that down into two different or three different progressions, right? He did a deadlift, he did a high pull, and now he's straight overhead with his snatch. We're gonna do that in the warm up. So just look again really quick. He's gonna pull high, fast hips, and then shoot that weight straight overhead. Good job, Cal. You're gonna alternate leg, or <laughs> leg. You're gonna alternate arms. Um, so just remember, you're gonna set the weight down, get into that next snatch. Uh, if you are really proficient with snatches and you've done them a lot in our workouts, Think about trading those R or that, that hand mid air, right? So you don't have to set it on the ground. You can literally get to the chest, switch over to the other hand, tap and go, okay? There you go. All right, okay. Let's talk about push press, push press. Coming up to that front rack position, this is your push press. Yeah, good. Okay, with a push press, I'm um, gonna kind of turn it just a little bit. With the elbows nice and high, that weight's rested up on his rack position. The rack is your shoulders. From there, it's a dip vertical and his knees go wide. As he pushes straight overhead, he just pops those feet, uh, get those knees locked out, get those hips locked out. He gets that uh, weight directly over his midline. Easy, right? Um, if you have a very uh, light weight and you wanna do a one arm, you can. Oh, you were gonna go to a strict press, weren't you? All right, you can do a one arm, there you go. Uh, either side, just alternate halfway between. Uh, Kyle's just gonna demo a little strict press for you. So if you feel like you just got a lighter weight and you wanna keep both hands on, you can do that strict press also. Good, okay. Um, after those uh, push press, we have front squats. So here's your front squat. There you are. Yeah, good, good. Okay, with the front squat, you are again racking the weight on your front rack position. Elbows are nice and high. He sends his hips back and down, dropping to the bottom of a squat. Knees are wide. Keep tension in your body. Stand up. Awesome. Basic squat position, guys. Just remember, no one's squat is perfect. Uh, you're getting as low as you can. Uh, maybe it's not all the way down where Kyle's at. He's got a good squat. Um, but if you can, just fight to get those knees wide. It'll sink your hips a little more. 
kind of like you're sitting down in that chair, okay? Good job, okay. If uh, for some reason the front rack is gonna be too much work for your squats, you can just do an air squat without any weight. Uh, there we go, oh. take a little break. Okay, um, swings are next, here we go. There you are. Okay, notice as uh, Kyle swings, I'll just keep, keep him moving here, kind of hard to stop this movement, right? Um, as he comes up, he's thrusting through the hips, letting his legs drive this movement. His arms are in control of that torpedo. It's not loosey-goosey out in front of him, right? Um, as he comes up, he gets to eye level every time. Done, easy, okay, good. There we go, and then for sit-ups, he's gonna come to the floor, butterfly those legs, knees go wide. He's coming down fully on the floor as he comes down uh, with his hands coming behind him. He's using a little bit of momentum to come up to that sit, sit up position. Um, when he gets to the top, he keeps his chest nice and proud, doesn't round out, just get lazy with it. Um, and that's it. If you feel you need a little weight on the feet, you can put your torpedo there. You can put your couch there, <laughs> whatever you got at home. Um, try to use that, okay? Uh, and that's about it. We're gonna move through this four times, one minute a piece. Uh, and that's, what do we got, you ready? Yeah. Okay, let's, uh, let's start up you guys, find your spots here and we'll get going. All right everyone, let's find our spaces here. We're gonna stand at attention with our eyes closed, heels touching, palms facing the front of your space. Relax and breathe, breathe, breathe. Take a few bigger inhales up, bigger exhales out. Remember to move the head, the hands, the shoulders here. This is your time to loosen up those limbs. There you go. You can move to the balls of your feet, shifting your weight a little bit, coming onto the toes if you want. Find a little balance there. Don't fall over like Kyle wants to. There you go. Good. Now as we find just a little bit of stillness, we're gonna take one breath together here with a big inhale up and an exhale out. Yeah, eyes open now, mountain pose, arms overhead, locked out overhead here. You're gonna be overhead a lot in the workout today, so just remember, you're trying to get as tall and as long as you can through your arms. Good, take a little forward fold for me here. Coming all the way down for your toes, relax your head, your neck, your back. Your hamstrings start to lengthen. Maybe you take a bend in that knee if you need it. Maybe you grab the calves, the ankles. You can get real close, you're very mobile. There you go. Okay, slow rise right back up to that mountain pose position. Open arm twist with your right arm back, your left arm is forward. Holding there for just a second, square the hips to the front of the room. Take that right hand to your lower back. Bring that left hand up behind you as far as you can go, pressing that right hand into that lower back. As you do that, your right shoulder is gonna feel the brunt of this. You're stretching out the front of your body. Good, coming back up overhead, take a forward fold again. Relax your neck, relax your head. Good job. Okay, slow rise back up. We'll take that open arm twist with our left arm back, our right arm forward. As you find that stillness here, we'll take the left hand to your lower back. Your right arm comes up and behind, pressing firmly in. Kyle's pressing really hard into that right shoulder. Sorry, left shoulder. Good, all right, come back up overhead. Take a forward fold all the way down. Yeah, it's now ragdoll it. Just take a little wider leg. Play around here, move around. Let your body be loose. There you go. Wow, so loose. All right, now plant your palms to the floor, step back to a high plank position. Long line from head to heel, there you go. Shift forward, low plank, upward facing dog. Hold your up dog, stay there with a broad chest, your shoulders rolling back. You can move your head a little bit if you want. Yeah, downward facing dog, hips go high. I'm gonna do that for you one more time. It's good on the shoulders, good on the chest. High plank, low plank, up dog, down dog. There you go. Pedaling through the feet here a little bit. I want you to take your right heel kick up to your butt. There you go. And then your left heel kicks up to your butt. So just little kicks up and down, up and down, up and down with those feet. So you're just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Good, come back to a high plank. I just wanted to make Kyle look silly. All right, come back, high plank. <laughs> right foot outside your right hand. Wide runner's lunge, moving around here. Good, Wait, getting ready for those uh, front squats. You got a ton of them today. There you go. Step back to a high plank. Left foot outside your left hand, wide runner's lunge. The best stretch for your hips. Awesome. Okay, now step your right foot up uh, outside your right hand, your left uh, foot stays where you are, dropping into the bottom of a pretty messy squat. So you're gonna be moving around a little bit, 
just get low as you can get. Um, first kind of big squat of the day. It doesn't need to be pretty. You're just kind of waking up the knees and ankles. Good, now fingertips to the ground. Lift your hips into the sky. Yeah, slow rise all the way back up. Bring your feet together, mountain pose. Take your right leg high, one-legged mountain pose. Grab your knee, pull it in as close as you can get it to your chest. Yeah, now step back to a crescent lunge. Low lunge now, your fingertips to the floor. Easy twist, left arm goes high in the sky. Stay there, straighten out that back leg as much as you can. Revolve crescent, rise over to the side of the room here. You're gonna bring yep, those arms as wide as you can. Find your balance, yeah. Now sweep through to a crescent lunge, one-legged mountain pose all the way up. Take a stand, left leg goes high. Bring the knee as close to your chest as you can possibly get. Yep, there you go, step back, crescent lunge. Low lunge, your fingertips hit the floor. Now your right arm goes high for an easy twist. Nice job. Revolve crescent, rise to the side of the room with your arms as wide as you can go, just like that open arm at the beginning of class. Good, coming through, crescent lunge, one-legged mountain pose. Yep, take a stand. Widen those feet just a little bit for me. Let's practice some air squats. Feet are about shoulder distance, toes track out, chest is tall. Take a seat down as your hips go back and down. Keep your chest nice and proud. Get as low as your body will allow. Yep, now stand tall. Yeah, right back down and up. Five slow air squats. First ones of the day here. Waking up those hips. Awesome. We're gonna get you warm here in a little bit here. Okay, take a forward fold. Plant your palms, jump back high plank. 10 narrow mountain climbers. Let's start moving a little bit. There you go. Jump your right foot outside your right hand after that 10th narrow mountain climber. When I say go, jump and switch to the left. And go. Go, 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 good, step back, high plank, low plank, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, good job, three-legged down dog, right toes go high here, knee to nose, right toes are high, left elbow, kick through for a fallen warrior, you're gonna kick that right leg through, your left arm goes high into the sky, trying to get that right leg to come off the floor if you can, three-legged down dog, back in the air, low lunge, step through, hold that low lunge, Good, crescent lunge all the way up. Yep, one-legged mountain pose. Take a stand for me. Five more air squats, these are fast now. Down and up, down and up, down and up. You're ready, you're ready. Great, great. Okay, let's grab onto that torpedo. Let's grab onto that torpedo, put it in a front rack position. A front rack position, there you go. Now in the front rack, if you can get a few strict press for me, this is what I want first, okay? I want you to come up overhead, just strict press that weight directly over your body. Come back down to the shoulder and up, down and up, down. Put that weight in between your feet. Hold tight, grab that weight with your right hand. Your feet are about uh, hip distance, shoulder distance if you need it. I'm gonna ask you to deadlift here. When I say go, stand up, nothing but a deadlift. And go, yes, set it down, left hand on. And go, good, set it down, two more. One on each side. Yep, set that weight aside as you finish. All right, getting warm, getting warm. Coming back, right leg is forward, crescent lunge position here. Warrior two to the front of your space. Half moon, you're gonna pop off that back leg. Long, long line through the head to your foot and your hand to your hand, right? Good. Come to star pose for me. Wide-legged forward fold, six toe taps. Fast as you can move from side to side. Yes, now stand tall, give me Three jumping jacks quick, loosen up the arms. We're gonna get back on your weight, okay? We're gonna get back on your weight. Just loosen those shoulders a sec. Okay, you're coming up, we're gonna do a high pull now, that next progression of the snatch. Kyle's gonna grab onto that weight with his right arm. When I say go, high pull right back to the floor. And go, yep, left hand on, and go, yep. Two more, one on each arm, two more. There you go, Kyle. All right, as you finish, we'll set that weight aside. Let's come back to that star pose here. Yeah, take a warrior two to the front. Sweep around for a high plank. Yep, right to a high plank. 10 narrow mountain climbers running in place. Good, stay there. Widen out your feet just a little bit for me. When I say go, jump to the bottom of a squat. And go, hold. Stand up, three air squats, three air squats, go. Good, hands to the floor, jump back to a downward facing dog. Awesome, three-legged down dog, left toes lift high, knee to nose, left toes are high, right elbow, kick through to fallen warrior. Nice job there. Good balance, good balance. Three-legged down dog, back in the air, 
low lunge, step through, crescent lunge, rise tall, one leg it all the way up, take a stand, grab your weight, let's get into that front rack position. All right, now we're gonna push press this weight. That means your knees drive out a little bit as you dip only a few inches. Remember that, only a few inches. It's a powerful dip drive straight overhead. When I say go, I'll meet you at the top. And go, hold, lock it out, lock it out. Yes, control that weight, come back down. Shoulders, give me five more, push press. Good work, Kyle. You're not ditching the weight. You're gonna put it out in front of you here. We're going in for some swings. You're gonna go for some swings. You're putting that weight in front, holding it long. There you go. When I say go, start swinging and go. Yeah, good. You guys, the swing is driven by the legs. Remember that. It is a pop of those legs to get that weight up to eye level every time. Keep good control of it. Two more swings wherever you're at, two more. Awesome work. Okay, set that weight aside. Let's come back. Left leg forward, crescent lunge position. Warrior two to the front there. Half moon, you're out of breath. I know it's hard to hold this stuff in that uh, when, you're, when you're winded, try your best, try your best. Good, come to star pose for me. Wide legged forward fold, six more toe taps, quick as you can go. We'll stand up and give me three quick jumping jacks, three quick jumping jacks. Yeah, come back to the front of your space. Let's grab that torpedo. We're going full snatch now, full snatch. All right, I'm not gonna stop you. As you get into this snatch, remember it's a fast pull and punch, and go. Hold, back to the floor. One more time, left side, and go. Awesome, now on your own time, give me two more, one on each side. Good, work. Okay, set that weight aside. Let's come back with our left, or sorry, to a star pose. There you go, warrior two to the front. Come around to a high plank. Yeah, 10 more narrow mountain climbers. There you go. Legs a little bit wider here. Stay there in that high plank. When I say go, jump to the bottom of a squat and go. Good, five air squats, quick, quick, quick. Then grab your torpedo, put it in a front rack position. <gasps> Woo, here we go, we got some weight on our body now. These air squats are gonna feel a lot different. All right, elbows are nice and high. When you're ready here, let's get five reps. Hit it, hit it. Come on, come on. Good job, Kyle. All right, y'all. Checking my board, make sure I didn't forget anything, and I did, sit-ups. Okay, set that weight down. All right, come back into a downward-facing dog. Take a three-legged, right toes lift high. Yeah, knee to nose. Right toes are high. Low lunge, step through. Crescent lunge, rise tall. Take a one-legged mountain pose. We're gonna curtsy down to the floor. So down to the ground, roll to your back. Perfect. Sit up position, five sit ups, go. Five sit ups. On that fifth sit ups, sit up. You're gonna <laughs> rock and roll up to a standing position. Good, we're gonna come back into our torpedo really quick. I'm gonna have you just give me a couple reps of each of these movements here. You have two snatches. You have two push press two front squats, and two swings. Good, that's our progression all the way through, right? Um, you don't have to do them all right back to back, but uh, just remember, that's gonna be our list today, okay? Swings are last, just a couple of those. Pop the hips, good work, Kyle. Okay, we'll come back with our right leg forward crescent lunge, taking that warrior two to the front of the room. Half moon, you're gonna pop off that back leg. <gasps> Big move, <laughs> Big move here from your half moon, from your half moon. Come down to that low lunge, control. Yes, step back, high plank. Good, six narrow mountain climbers. Then when I say go, jump to the bottom of a squat and go, hold. Give me three squat jumps. Come into a downward facing dog. You're gonna be warm here. Come on, three-legged down dog. Left toes go high, knee to nose. Left toes high, low lunge, step it through. Yep, crescent lunge, rise tall. Warrior two, I'm gonna kick it easy on you here. Half moon, pop off that back leg. Oh, low lunge from there. High plank, low plank. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. All right, y'all, jump to the top of your space. High five yourself, high five a neighbor. Good job, Kyle. 
All right, we are ready to go. Let's get our uh, equipment ready, get our space ready, get a water, get a rag, whatever you need. We're gonna start up here in just a second. All right, y'all, welcome back. Here we go, we're gonna start the workout up just to recap what we are doing. Four rounds, it's one minute of snatches. Alternate those arms, push press for one minute, front squats for one minute, swings for a minute, sit-ups for a minute. Remember, take that sit-up minute as an active recovery. Let those arms and legs rest. We'll go through this four times. This clock is gonna beep at every minute, okay? So just listen for that if you uh, don't hear me yell, because sometimes I miss things. <laughs> um, all right, Kyle's ready to rock. Uh, here we go, y'all. We're gonna start this up in 10 seconds. Let's go, let's go, get ready. You're starting out with those snatches, remember, alternating arms. Coming up in three, two, one. There you go. Good, good. With the snatch, remember, it's that fast pull up, but you're not bending the arm until you start to get that, or that, hip extension happens for your body. So extend the hip and then pull, and then pull. With that punch overhead, just be careful. Don't hit your ceiling fan. Don't throw the weight into the TV. All right, these are big moves again, y'all. If I were doing this right now, what I would probably plan to do is hit a number. Say, I'm gonna get 12 snatches in, and then I might need just a second to breathe. Right? You got 15 seconds here, 15 seconds. If you got a big weight, that's a good way to look at it. If you got a lighter weight and you wanna just cruise, do it. All right, we're moving into push press. We're coming on five seconds here. Push press in three, two, one. There you go, there's your beep. Push press. Good, now for these push press, I will say I like to rapid fire them and then set the weight down. Um, reason being, it is hard to keep that weight in the front rack and breathe. Um, if you're having trouble with air right now, remember sometimes breathing at the top is better. So if you can take a few breaths in there, because that weight sitting on your arms or your shoulders just kind of weights down your chest a little bit. All right, 30 seconds, I'll shut up. <laughs> Good job, Cal. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Kyle's in this with you, y'all. <laughs> he picked a heavy weight, he picked a heavy weight. All right, come on, come on, 12 seconds here. There we go, there we go. All right, we're moving to front squats in five seconds. Front squats, three, two, one. All right, I know, you gotta keep that weight in hand. Not, not easy, not easy, there you go, good. Elbows stay high. I get it, if you need a little air in between these movements, please feel free to take it. Uh, these are big, big moves. You got a lot of weight on your body for this workout. Good job, Kyle. There you go, there you go. Looking good, looking good. Halfway, 30 seconds in, 30 seconds in. There you go, there you go. Remember, if you are really suffering, you got 15 seconds here. You can set that weight down, get a few air squats in if you'd like. 10 seconds of work. Come on, come on, we're gonna move to swings, I believe. Yep, swings are coming up in three, two, one. Swing. <laughs> How you feeling, Kyle? It is a burner. It's a lot, a lot of time underweight, a lot of time underweight. So again, take it easy if you need if you need that little break just set the weight down for a second and do it okay you got a lot of time left in this workout the big push really does come at the end when i start to really yell um all right 35 seconds swing swing swings this my uh, this way or uh, swings might feel a little better on your shoulders and arms right now try to use the legs as much as you can it is a leg driven movement you're not pulling the weight up you are letting the Hips kind of press that weight up out in front of you and really shoot that weight up to high level. All right, 15 seconds. Here you go. Good job, good job. All right, all right. We're coming on sit-ups in five. Sit-ups in three, two, one. 
All right, again, active recovery. Active recovery, how are you feeling, Kyle? Oh, I feel good, yeah. <laughs> I love it. No, these ceiling fans are slow-mo. <laughs> it's like you're sitting outside in a, a tropical environment and they're like that fan's doing anything for you. <laughs> come on, come on. 25 seconds again. This should just feel like a little bit of rest for you because you're coming back into a big movement here. Snatches, okay? 15 seconds. We're coming back for snatches. There you go, Kyle. Woo, looking good, looking good. All right. Getting ready, guys. Five seconds. In three, two, one. There you go. Back to those snatches. Breathe a little bit. Kyle, you got it. <laughs> You're looking good. You're looking good. All right. It's so one of those workouts, you gotta turn up that music and go, 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 go. Nice job, nice job. Breathe. <laughs> yep. Kyle uses a big hip drive on these snatches too, lets the legs do most of the work, okay? Legs are doing most of the work. Big, big drive. 15 seconds here. Maybe you got a few more in you. Just one on each arm maybe. What do you got? What do you got? There you go. We're gonna move to those, wait, push press in three, <laughs> two, one. Push press, push I, press. I don't look <laughs> You're doing great, Cal. Nice job, guys. Watching Kyle do this workout, I'm gonna have to do it live on Saturday. Um, maybe I won't. Pick a 50. <laughs> I'll be resting a lot more than you. All right, 35 seconds here. 35 seconds. Come on, you're halfway through this minute. There you go. Good job, Kyle. Yep, yep. 20 seconds of work now, 20 seconds. Remember you go into those front squats immediately. So if you need just a second here to take a breath without weight on your body, not, do it now. You got 10 seconds, okay? 10 seconds. We're going to those front squats in three, two, one. Front squats, front squats. Yep. You got it, Kyle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking good, Kyle. You're looking good. All right. Keep moving, Kyle. Do what you can. Do what you can. If you're anything like me, the front rack position is pretty hard, right? So what I like to do is hold the torpedo like this so that my elbows can come up a little higher. If I hold out here, I find that I have to bring my elbows down. So just play around with that at home if you're working with a torpedo today or a dumbbell. You got it. Good job. All right, well, 15 seconds here, 15 seconds of work. Let's go. And Kyle did an awesome thing, set the weight down for a couple reps, um, got right back into it. All right, we're going for those swings in three, two, one. All right, shake it out a little, shake it out. Breathe. Good job, good job, Kyle. What's great, this workout's moving pretty quick. You're almost halfway through right now. There you go, there you go. Come on, come on, 30 seconds. Can you hold on to this weight the entire minute? Can you make it through an entire minute of swings? Come on. Kyle, are you counting? <laughs> sometimes, it, sometimes it helps to just count reps uh, so that when you come back to these minutes, you maybe shoot for that same number. Um, sometimes you're just tired and you don't care. Um, five seconds. Here we go. We're going to sit-ups in three, two, 
one. All right, relax down to the floor. Give those arms a break. Good job, good job. All right, 45 seconds, 45 seconds here. This is a 45 seconds of nice on the floor time. Just one sit up at a time, no rush, no rush. Take it easy, take it easy. Good job, good job. All right, 20 seconds, 20 seconds and counting. Try to keep your chest upright in those sit ups, y'all. There you go. In 10 seconds, we move back to the top of the list for our third round in. We're going to snatches. In three, two, one. All right, ready to rock. <laughs> you guys, I know you're getting tired here. Take a little bit of rest as you need. Remember, just count down that rest. You don't have a lot of time in these movements. One minute will go by quick. So just think about the rest that you're taking as being a 10 second count back in it, right? Um, try one at a time. You notice Kyle, he's doing one, kind of taking his time back to the floor, <sighs> setting up properly so he's not rounding his back. Good, good work, good work. All right, 22 seconds here, 22 seconds. You got it, Kyle. There you go, there you go. Nice job, nice job. All right, 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Push, press, they're coming up here. In three, two, one. Push. <laughs> Push, press. It's good, you're working. Kyle's got a big engine to, it's all heating up, it's all heating up. There you go. Good job. Good job. Trying your best, trying your best, y'all. Keep it moving, keep it moving. Good work. Here we go, here we go. How long can you hold this for, right? How long can you hold it for? 25 seconds. Again, you do get into those front squats coming up, so if you feel like you just need a rest on your shoulders before you have to hold it for those front squats, do it about now, you got 15 seconds to burn. 15 seconds to burn. Good job, Kyle. Okay, come on. Come on, those of you at home, let's move here. Let's move. Five seconds. Got a couple more? Three, two, one. All right, we're going for front squats. Front squats. <laughs> Kyle, you're, like, you're doing great. You're doing great. Remember when we used to do two tort movements? Oh yeah. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Things like this to get programmed and you'd, you'd wanna leave the room halfway through. All right, come on y'all, come on. <laughs> yep, I'm gonna go home. <laughs> 35 seconds here. There you go. One at a time, one at a time. Notice Kyle's just taking them real slow, real paced out. There you go. Good, good. All right, we're moving to swings coming up here in 10 seconds. 10 seconds, swings. Good, good. Swings are in three, two, one. Woo, looking good, Kyle. Come on, come on. Getting sweaty. All right, keep swinging, keep swinging here. It's like I went swimming. <laughs> <laughs> and on YouTube, you can't take your shirt off. <laughs> usually in class, usually in class, you can take your shirt off and just, off. yeah, no one, no one cares. Everyone's just like, I get it, I'm dripping <laughs> everywhere. All right, 30 seconds here. Can you hold on for that entire minute? Can you hold on? Trying to get all the way to the end. There you go, there you go. 20 seconds, 20 seconds, come on. Come on, keep swinging. Good work, good work. All right, 10 seconds here. We're going for sit-ups. Coming up in three, two, 
one. All right, we got sit-ups here, y'all. Coming to the floor, take this again as just your little bit of rest. One at a time. Unless you're just one of those that loves sit-ups and wants to blow through them, hey, more power to you, more power to you. There you go, there you go. You're doing great, Kyle. You're doing great. <laughs> 30 seconds here. All right, you guys are doing awesome. You've made it um, about 15 minutes into this workout. You only got a five minute round left here. You're coming to your feet in about 10 seconds. We're gonna go for those snatches. Coming up, five seconds. Snatches in three, two, one. All right, to your feet. Whew. Breathe, 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 get ready to rock. All right, this is your last time on all these movements. This is where I want you to think about really picking it up and going, okay? You are, you are warm, I'm not gonna say fresh. You are warm, your body's ready for this. What do you got left? What can your body do? Tell it it can, okay? Grab the weight and go. Grab the weight and go. Pick it up, snatch, pull and punch. 30 seconds here, 30 seconds. Maybe you got a fast four reps in you and then you got a second to breathe. Good, maybe you're just doing one at a time, real paced out, whatever that looks like for you. Try your best, try your best. Come on, come on. Good job, pal. About 12 seconds here, 12 seconds. Yep, yep. Nice work, nice work. Okay, three, two, one. Breathe a second, push press, we're coming at it. Push press. Nice work. Big moves here. You guys, breathe, breathe. Take some air in your lungs. I get it, it's hard to, in a snatch and stuff that you're really thrusting on, you kind of hold your breath. And you just kind of, and you go into it. Just remember, catch your breath when you need it. I want you passing out in your living room. All right, 33 seconds. 33 seconds. There we go. There we go. Good job, Kyle. All right. All right. Come on. Come on. 15 seconds of work here. We're going to go to those front squats. If you need rest before that, please take it now, okay? Shake the arms out. All right, we got front squats coming up in three, two, one. There you go, there you go. Whew. It's hard to pick it back up after you take it off the shoulders. <laughs> 50 seconds. Kyle, you're doing awesome. Come on, come on. Yep, yep. Try your best, try your best. Get low as you can with those hips. Push the knees wide, chest stays nice and tall. Breathe at the top. I know right now you wanna set that weight down, you wanna give up, you wanna just go into some air squats. If you can hold it on your front rack position, you're trying your best to do so. 23 seconds of work. You can do one at a time here, one at a time, all the way, come on, come on. There you go, 15 seconds here, 15 seconds. You got it, Kyle, you got it. At home, 10 seconds. What do you got, two more? Two more, three more. Let's go, let's go. We're going into swings in three, two, one. All right, all right. Last weighted portion of the workout here, y'all. Let's get on the weight. Swing, swing, swing. You get a whole minute at the end of this to do sit-ups, right? Right now, this is the last weighted portion. Let's go, swing that weight, hold on to it, hold on to it all the way to the end all the way to the end, we're at about 37 seconds. You're doing amazing, come on, come on. Thrust those hips, eye level every time. What do you got left, what do you got left? Come on, 25 seconds. Kyle, you're looking good, keep moving here, keep moving. There you go, there you go. Big challenge here, big challenge. Hold on guys, hold on to it. 15 seconds of work, Woo! a few more swings, a few more swings. 10 seconds. Come on, we're going to the ground for sit-ups. Coming up in five seconds. Two more swings. One, two, 
and to the floor. Okay, come on. Sit-ups here. Sit-ups all the way to the end. If you want to get into a real challenge, maybe you want to hollow hold the entire time. Maybe, ooh, no, no, you don't want to? <laughs> you just want to keep sticking to the sit-ups? All right. It's fine by me, fine by me. You guys, let's get as much as we can done here. I know before it was kind of that active recovery because you had to come back to the weight. You don't have to here. 33 seconds, you're getting as much as you can in. Sit up, sit up, sit up. Down and up, come on, come on. Good job, good job. Here you go, Kyle. All right, you, you at home, 20 seconds, sit ups. 20 seconds. Get this work done, come on, come on. Working out with a lot of people right now. Come on, let's go. About 12 seconds. Come on, come on, move, move, move. Nine seconds to work, let's go, let's go. Sit up, sit up, sit up, let's go Kyle. Three, two, one. All right, you are done, you are done. Nice job at home, nice job at home. Relax, breathe, take a second here. Kyle, you feeling all right? Yeah. <laughs> all right, y'all, we're gonna come back for a cool down here in just a second. Get a water, wipe your face off, wipe your floor off. Breathe. We'll see you in just a sec. All right, y'all, let's bring it back to the spaces here. We're gonna cool you down for just a few minutes. Standing at attention, eyes closed, heels touching, palms to the front, you know the drill. Take a few rolls of the neck, the head, the shoulders, the hands. Just be playful here. Relax your body, no more snatches, no more front squats. There you go. As you find just some stillness now, we'll take one breath together with a big inhale up. Exhale out. Good, eyes open, mountain pose, arms overhead. Take a side body, just a little stretch of the lats. You're gonna grab the left hand, pull up and over to the right side of your space. Yes, come back to center. Take a forward fold for me. Relax your head and neck. Let your arms relax. You can move your arms around here too. A little Michael Phelps accent if you want, where you swing them through. Loosen up the shoulders, perfect, perfect. Slow rise back to a mountain pose. We'll take a side body now to the opposite side, grabbing the left hand, pulling up and over, pressing the hips to the side of the room. Yep, coming back to center again. Take that forward fold now to a rag doll. What I'd like you to do is take your right hand into the air and just keep your left fingers to the ground. Make a couple sweeps with your arm. Just let that shoulder relax a little and then we'll take the opposite side for a couple sweeps. Perfect, good. As we take our hands to the floor, we'll go right to a tabletop, relax. Relax in that tabletop. We'll do extended child's pose. So you're gonna take the toes and touch them, widen the knees and just sink your hips. Let your body relax. If you can get really long through the arms out in front, great. If you can't, you need to just hold them back a little bit. That's fine also. Just really trying to Stretch through the knees, the hips. Perfect. We'll slowly come up to that tabletop position and then we'll go right into a downward facing dog. We'll take three legged right toes, go high for a half pigeon. Bring the knee up into the wrist. If you have any issues with half pigeon, you can take it from your back. Uh, from your back, you're just gonna wrap that knee, or sorry, the leg up over the thigh. And you just grab behind the leg, behind the knee there, or maybe on the shin if you have that mobility. Just pulling that directly into your body. Great, great. Slowly we'll come back to that three-legged down dog, getting a little blood in the right leg. Now for your left side. We'll take a three-legged left. Toes go high, half pigeon, connect in. If this uh, position, uh, you do still wanna take from the uh, body coming over the leg, just remember, you don't have to forward fold in this position. You can just kind of keep your chest tall if that's a more comfortable position for you, no right or wrong. Perfect. We'll send the left leg high again now, and then we're gonna step, or sorry, just step to the front of your space. So just take a seat on the ground. Uh, with this seated position, with your legs extended out in front, just take a little forward fold action coming down for your toes. Relax your head and neck, uh, feeling a little stretch through the base of your neck down to your tailbone. Yeah, and then we'll slowly just roll ourselves to the floor. 
and bring ourselves up to a happy baby. So you've got the inside arches of your feet. You'll shift your body just a little bit side to side. Let your head relax to the ground. And then your knees coming into your chest, wrap your arms around your shins. Give yourself a very big hug. As you melt into the ground, feeling the floor support you, we'll take final resting pose. Here is your minute to relax, decompress, and breathe. Slowly starting to wake up those fingers, toes, wrists, and ankles. Bring our arms overhead, taking a long stretch, lengthen out air in your lungs. And slowly making your way up to a seated position. To the front of your space, with your eyes closed, we'll take three breaths here together. And these breaths can be for anything, anything you like. We'll start out with a big exhale, let go of all the air from your lungs, through the nose, huge inhale, up, open mouth exhale, next big inhale, up, open mouth exhale, and last, biggest breath, fill them up, 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 release. Open your eyes, give yourself a little round of applause at home. Nice work today, y'all. Um, if you hadn't heard, uh, we do our A20s. We also do our A Flow on our YouTube channel. We also have an Instagram channel that we do workouts live. Please pay, uh, pay attention to those. Um, take them if you can. Uh, follow us, subscribe, anything you can do. We love it. Uh, and that's all I have. Kyle, you yeah. feeling good? Yeah. All right. <laughs> you guys, thank you. Have a good day.